Welcome to Service Drive Revolution and your Friday drive by. A little something to think about, a little food for thought going into the weekend. Hopefully it inspires a new way of thinking and some solutions. So what I want to talk about today is novice problems need new solutions. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is new problems come up all the time, but what we tend to do is we tend to go to our old playbook and try to apply solutions for that, right? Like take for example, at one time, if there was a fire, you'd put it out with water. But then as we progressed as a society, we had electrical fires. And what happens if you pour water on an electrical fire? You get shocked and it can make the whole situation a lot worse. So we developed fire extinguishers. So they put out electric fires. And this makes me think of, of a situation when I, was, when I was running a dealership. I was a general manager of a big dealership and I would have weekly manager meetings. And I usually had about 12 managers in there. You know, you had a BDC manager, service director, manager, parts, you know, whatever. It was about 12 of them. They'd sit around this conference table and I'd sit at the head of the, the conference table. And I remember I, I walked in for one meeting and I could kind of tell that the room was, was a little different. Something was off and the, the old GSM, who was kind of like the union leader, had these, these printouts. And, you know, when the meeting started, he said, well, we want to talk about something. And he started presenting these uh, printouts from the Internet that were of blogs talking about how to get over on us for lot damage. And the solution that, that they had come up with was that we needed to start saying no to customers and we needed to put our foot down and not let customers walk all over us. To me, it seemed like this was a new problem that that old solution wasn't gonna work. It actually appeared to me that if people are talking about how great our customer service is and that they can even get over on us, that's an asset to us. That's, that's a plus in the, in the mark against our competition. The last thing we want to do is start being Dr. No and turning people away and saying no. Now we could get better at documenting lot damage when, when cars came in. We could change our processes, but the customer experience, we wanted to ride that momentum. We didn't want to shut it down, right? When I think about how that applies to today, when, when COVID happens, we're, a, lot of, a lot of us are trying to apply the old solutions that we had to the new problems, right? So our sales departments are closed down and we think, oh, hey, maybe, maybe we just sell everything online like the internet. Well, you already had an internet department and of course your internet department's gonna get busy, but the service department is a place to sell cars. Salespeople can be assisting in the service department and selling cars, right? Same thing with, with our service customers. One thing that changed is we now were, were selling safety to the customers instead of just service, right? So the old way of selling was completely different. What we were selling before had to change and we had to apply new things. So now all of a sudden details and uh, you know cleaning cars to a certain standard ended up being a bigger asset. Same thing with our marketing. Now our marketing needed to be about community and bringing people in and helping those that needed help and having more empathy than just buy three tires, get one free. And so just think about in, in your business over the weekend, I want you to think about what is, what are the new problems, the, the novice problems that I'm trying to apply old solutions to, and maybe I should step back and come up with a new playbook. Or maybe I should borrow a playbook from other industries, but wh what could I change in my thought process to embrace those things as opportunity? to embrace those problems as something that I can take and parlay into huge opportunity, profits, and a solution for our customers. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So that's your food for thought going into the weekend. Stay tuned here for a little preview of what's coming up on the big show on Monday on Service Drive Revolution. Next week on Service Drive Revolution how you connect with customers using humor. Welcome Andrew Tarvin to the show, a friend of the show. That's where humor starts is, is what you find interesting or what you find 
uh, not even necessarily funny, but what you're just curious about. What makes you go, huh? It's all right that I've got six people dangling from the ceiling in the minivan. Like it's kind of a little bit weird that kind it's up phallic? over his head. Female top, like what's, I don't know if there's a word phallic that's also, oh. anytime you have like that funny idea or that th crazy thing that you see, it goes in the notebook. So like Christian probably wrote down, saw someone doing heroin, right? Somebody shooting up heroin is funny. <laughs> you don't get to see that kind of stuff every day. So. If you have a Zoom wedding, what, how does the honeymoon work out? Like. Yeah, that's a good, we just went on to Google Maps. <laughs>